everyone. Oh my gosh, it's been a long time since I last updated. Well, it feels like a long time. Um, usually I like to make my vlogs every week, but last week was a crazy, crazy week. I actually thought that I conceived because I had these crazy symptoms, symptoms that were exaggerated, I would like to say. Um, just things that were happening that never really happened before, like I had a little bit of acid reflux, um, I had a little bit of bleeding gums, and I read like in different places that those kind of symptoms also mean that you could be pregnant, and so I had never had that. I had, I've had it before in my life, but it's been like years since I've had any sort of acid reflux type symptoms or, you know, bleeding gums, or I had really, really um, swollen, boobs like they were just I looked down and I was like okay whose boobs are these they're not mine <laughs> that's how crazy it was um and I totally went off on thinking that I might be pregnant and my my cycles normally range from 28 to 32 days and it was on the later end of it so I thought oh my period is not coming there's no signs of her coming um there's no spotting or anything and I was like this must be it and you know you start to go into your little symptom spotting mode which I did you know which I promised myself I wouldn't but I did anyway um, and it just all ended up in disappointment I took a couple pregnancy tests and all I got were big fat negatives so you know it's 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 never easy to get a BFN um, as many times as I've already seen them um, it's just never easy each time. I don't know. I, I can't seem to get used to it. Just because, you know, being a TTC or you just want to be hopeful. Um, but yeah, so this was not my cycle. Um, like I said before, I'm on cycle day three. And you guys, I know Thanksgiving is right around the corner. So I just wanted to get this video up really quick. It won't be a long video, but I just wanted to make a, a give you an update. Um, my husband's sperm analysis, we had to push our appointment out to um, next week, Monday, and so he'll be going in for that. Um, the doctor recommended that he, we see John's um, sperm first, and then he'll start to look at me, But because um, I did ask if he would be able to do any kind of preliminary tests for me on the same day that John is going, and he just said, no, I think we should just concentrate on John right now. Sorry guys, my battery just went out for a second there. Um, yeah, so the doctor said, Let's just, you know, see what John's sperm results come out to, and then from there, um, we can concentrate on you. So that was fine with me, um, and I actually got an awesome email this morning from just a wonderful person. Um, she's a new friend that I met at church, and she's like in my small group. Our, it's called the pairs, like couples you know, small group where we meet every week and we just sort of get together and we talk about the previous Sunday sermon and, you know, what's going on in our lives and it's just a nice um, way to fellowship with um, some of the people at our church. And so, you know, obviously I talked about how, you know, John and I are trying to conceive and we've been trying since April this year and um, she actually works in the fertility, fertility field. She does acupuncture and herbs and also nutrition and so she reached out to me and she said that she would help me she would come and you know diagnose me and she would just offer her services to me for free and it was a totally unexpected email and I was so shocked and just really pleasantly surprised and I was so humbled by that and just really thankful that I have you know someone like her that actually would be willing to do that and um, so yeah that's just something that I'm gonna look into um, you know I feel like I'm eating healthy already but she said that it's all about customization um, so I could be eat eating healthy foods all day long but if they're not the right healthy foods for my body type and my um, disposition then it won't do much so that really made a lot, lot of sense to me um, so yeah, I'm going to be contacting her back and just um, telling her that I would love to meet with her. Um, so that was a surprise. Um, I think that um, you know acupuncture and 
you know, nutrition and, and, and herbs, those all those are all things that are really good. It can't hurt, you know. They can only help is my my opinion. And so yeah, so I'm really thankful for that. And um, since it's Thanksgiving, um, I am also just reflecting on all the things that I'm thankful for. And there's so much that I'm thankful for. Um, I won't get into it because I have a laundry list of things I'm thankful for, obviously, but I am thankful for you guys. And so I just wanted to thank each and every one of you for watching my videos, um, for commenting and for subscribing and just for caring. and. I just feel so comforted to know that I'm not alone on this journey and it truly is true when they say that people who are not TTC like the ones the people that got pregnant right away um, or they're not even thinking about having kids or anything like that they don't really get what we go through <laughs> as women trying to conceive a baby and it's just so nice to know that there's other people out there that are going through the same thing I am and we can follow each other's journey and just root each other on and encourage each other and so wanted to wish you guys a wonderful Thanksgiving with your family and friends and eat lots of delicious food but don't go overboard <laughs> um, we have to remember to be healthy otherwise um, but I guess for this one time of the year it's okay to splurge so um, have a wonderful uh, week ladies and I will catch you in the next video. I do have some exciting videos coming up so please stay tuned and if you like this video give it a thumbs up. If you are a TTC -er as well please comment below and let me know and if you want to follow my journey subscribe. I think the link is right up there. Okay guys thanks so much for listening. Bye!